Hi, I'm Norm Stockton. Welcome to my home studio here in Orange County, California. I am here today with the Galleon Cougar MB112. Great sounding, very compact combo amp, but extremely practical and expandable. We'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, 200 watts, designed and built in the USA, has all the essential features plus a couple of nice bonus features as well. Um, why don't we go ahead and in the normal fashion, We'll go through uh, sort of an overview of the top and rear panels, and then I'll go control by control. And as usual, I wanna just um, encourage you to not use your phone or laptop speakers to hear this because they don't do a very good job of reproducing low end. So plug in some uh, headphones or an external speaker so you can really hear what's going on. Okay, so uh, the top panel, starting on the left side, you've got your input jack, which is very helpful, helps with the tone. Uh, you have an input attenuator, your gain or volume knob, then you have your contour switch, which is a bit of tone shaping. You have your four band active EQ, an aux in, which takes an eighth inch stereo mini plug, a headphone jack, your DI with pre and post EQ, and then you have your power button. And then on the rear panel, you have your chain out, which allows you to connect to GK's MBP series of powered extension cabinets, which are awesome. And we'll talk about that in just a second, but very, very cool feature. And then you have a fan that kind of keeps things cool. So starting on the left side of the top panel, you've got your input jack, and then you have your input attenuator switch, which is basically a 10 dB pad. So if you have an active bass with really high output or you're doing something really bombastic where there's a possibility they would clip at the input stages, then this basically just ensures that it won't do that. Um, I, I do have it engaged for this because I am trying to, well, I'm doing some slapping as well. Mm -hmm. This bass is kind of high output, but in addition, I'm trying to keep the output level fairly low and controlled because of the recording. I've got an open mic and all of this. In addition, I'm obviously miking this combo for this demo because I really want to give you an idea of what this combo sounds like. So anyway, suffice it to say that if you have a, a passive bass or you're just playing finger style stuff, then you probably won't ever need to engage that, okay? Then you have your gain, which is basically preamp gain, volume knob, right? Next, you have your contour switch, which this is a familiar tone shaping feature for anybody that's familiar with GK's amps. It's really cool. Um, what it does is when you engage it, it introduces a bit of a smiley face EQ. So at 500, it'll dip it, and then it'll bump the lows and the highs a little bit. So um, here, let me go ahead and play something. The EQ is obviously flat right now. So kind of this sort of thing. bit more of a scooped sound right um, I'm gonna leave it disengaged right now just so you get a good idea of what the rest of the EQ sounds like okay then you have your four band active EQ and this is the same active EQ that's on all of GK's amps it goes all the way back to the uh, 800 RB the legendary amp that kind of started this all and uh, this is a great, great sounding EQ. Um, let me just kind of go control by control and let you hear this, okay? So here's your highs. Right? So if you want to boost it a little bit, you know, for... Otherwise, you can kind of leave it flatter. And then you've got your, uh, your high mids. Dip it all the way, bump it all the way, gives it some honk, right? Let me run it flat, and then you've got your low mids, really kind of gives it some girth. So let me bring it all the way down, flat, bumped. And then you've got your lows, and I'm going to be careful here so I don't distort my recording. If you dip it all the way, it really thins things out, right? Really 
give it some thickness. Okay, then you have your auxiliary in, which is a really cool feature for a, like if you're gonna use this for a practice amp in your room or something, because it allows you to plug anything with an eighth inch stereo mini plug into it. So MP3 player, laptop, phone, whatever, you know, you can practice along with your, your tracks. Very, very convenient. In addition, you have your headphone jack, and when you plug your headphones in, then it disconnects the speaker as you would expect it to. Very helpful for practicing. Then you have your DI, great sounding GKDI, as well as a pre-imposed EQ switch. So what that allows you to do, by the way, is if you're um, doing any sort of radical EQ on stage that you don't necessarily want to send to the front of house, you want to give the front of house a flatter signal, then you can send it pre-EQ and you can do whatever radical EQing you want and it'll just come out of the speakers, but the DI send to the front of house is, is flat. So pretty cool to be able to uh, go between the two. And then you have your power button and the GK power buttons are pretty cool because when you first engage them, it'll be red. And then when it turns blue, you're good to go. If you're getting bad power or something, then that ring will turn red and that'll let you know that something's up, okay? And then when the problem's resolved, then it turns blue again. Pretty cool. On the rear panel, you have what I consider to be one of the most exciting features of the MB combo amps, and that's the chain out port. That allows you to connect to GK's MBP powered enclosures. What's awesome is that this MB112 has a 200 watt amp that's dedicated exclusively to this single 12 inch speaker that's in this box. Um, that's not the case with a lot of other combo amps where you can plug into an extension cabinet because you're never going to be getting the full power rating of that unless you plug into that ex external speaker. Does that make sense? Because of the impedance load, right? It, the plugging into the extension cabinet would allow the impedance load to come down and you get your full power. In the case of the MB combo amps, the entire 200 watts is dedicated to this speaker. But using a standard mic cable, you can plug into this chain out and go into any of the MBP series of powered extension cabinets and control the whole thing from this panel. What that, the, the practical aspect of that for this is, well, this 112, it, it sounds great um, and it's small and you can use it in your home studio or your bedroom for rehearsing, it's great. When you take it out to maybe a larger venue or a bigger gig, you may need more output than this single uh, 112 can, can dish out. What that allows you to do is using the MBP powered extension cabinet, you can plug into any of the series from another 112 MBP, which would essentially make this a 400 watt 212 rig, right? Because it's, the MBP has its own dedicated power amp for that cabinet. But in addition, if you wanted a lot more power, maybe you know in your home studio, you just need a little bit of uh, output, but then you've got a bigger gig where you need some serious punch. Well, you can go all the way up to the 410 MBP, which has a 500 watt amp built in and powers a 410 cabinet, but it's all controlled with the control panel on the MB112. Pretty powerful stuff. That chain out with the mic cable, by the way, sends all EQ and volume settings to the MBP powered cabinet. So um, any tweaks you make here um, will come through correspondingly to the MVP. Pretty awesome stuff. Check out the uh, separate dedicated video clips for the MVP series, but uh, I, I really want to emphasize that aspect with these because you may look at this, this uh, combo amp and think, well, that's definitely not big enough to suit my needs. Well, is it big enough to suit most of your needs? If so, then why lug around all the rest of the stuff, you know? Have this for most of the stuff, and then when you have your big gigs, just bring the MVP that has a lot more power and you're done. But uh, pretty awesome stuff. J definitely check it out. This MB112 is just 30 pounds, extremely portable, but with the acclaimed GK tone and great headroom and punch, expandability, features, awesome value. Uh, I always encourage people not to just take my word for it go to a GK dealer and check it out on your own. I'm positive you'll agree, but you can also get more information if you go to galleon.com. But this is the MB112 combo from Galleon Kruger. Check it out. God bless you. I'm Norm Stockton. I hope to see you on the road.